have the chance to tie it up. Yeah, uh, it was obviously huge to get the first win. Um, yeah, like you said, we never felt out of it. Um, you know, the two games in Carolina were extremely tight, especially game two. Uh, you know, we had a chance to win both games. So I still, um, I think we still felt confident going into game three. And, uh, you know, we got a, we got a huge win. So we just got to keep, uh, keep going moving forward. Is there any kind of sense that, you know, you're, you're sort of getting to this team physically at this point? Um, um, maybe. I mean, we have been extremely physical. Um, you know, it's playoff hockey, so it is going to be physical. But, um, that's that's always a big part of it, right? It's seven games, so um, you know wearing the other team down. Um, it always comes down to that. So I think physical play is a big part of our game, and it will be continue. Uh, you know, it will be as we go forward. You know, it, it, it probably shouldn't, and maybe it doesn't. But an afternoon game, you know, when you're so used to the routine of a night game, does that change anything in any way? <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, not not a big difference. Yeah. No. What what's what changed on the penalty kill after after game one? You know, I, I think after, I don't even think we were that bad in game one. I think it was, uh, you know, the first goal happened quick. Um, and then the second one was a tip. You know, we, we definitely made some small adjustments, but um, yeah, we made some small adjustments and we've been doing better. So I think we just have to continue to um, adjust to what they're doing and continue to improve. What, what was maybe the key there last night? I mean, Rod said he felt like they lost the game on, on the power play. Um, the key is, I guess, what it always is for us, which is uh, being aggressive, especially up the ice and on entries, right? Not letting them get set up, and then um, you know, um, blocking shots, which is what we we have guys blocking shots all the time and great goaltending. No, no, not meaning any disrespect to Sam, but just getting uh, Alex Romanov back in the lineup last night. How did that? You know, help with the minutes distribution and, and, and just everything you guys try and do as a six man unit. Yeah, it was uh, great to get Romy back. Uh, you know, he's a guy who's loved in the uh, locker room, so having him back in the lineup was huge for us. Uh, he definitely brings that physical element, which, you know, like I said, is huge in the playoffs. And um, yeah, he was, it was really nice to have him back. He played well. How much has Pulak's play sparked you guys so far through the series? Yeah, he's been incredible. He uh, has really taken his game to another level these past three games. You know, some of the best hockey I've seen him play. So. Uh, we're gonna, you know, need him to to keep doing that because he's, you know, he's a huge part of our team and he's a big reason why, you know, um, why we won last night and why we, uh, you know, can have success going forward. What did you think of the building, Pelly, especially in the last four minutes there? Yeah, it was awesome. It was crazy. Um, you know, exactly what we expected. Uh, it was loud. It was uh, really fun to play in. Would you say it's reassuring that no matter what happens, I guess, while you're playing these guys, that you can fall back on that physical play? Yeah, I mean, and I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily something to fall back on, but I think it just needs to be a staple in our game. Um, you know, we're we are a big physical team, and I think that uh, you know, especially like I said in playoff hockey, that's uh, it, it's a big part of it. It's always physical when you play seven games in a row against a team, right? You need to try to wear them down. So um, yeah, the physical play is a big part of it, and I think uh, you know it'll continue going Do you think forward. That, uh, you, know, you guys play physical all year long. When you get to this point in the season, do you think you guys have some sort of advantage now that teams are adapting that style of play? Um, uh, maybe. I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, hard to say. Um, I guess, uh, you know, we're a team who needs to play a certain way to be successful. It's not necessarily like uh, running gun offense. It's, um, you know, defending hard, uh, being physical, getting great goaltending. And those are things that, um, you know, is, are extremely important in the playoffs. So. I guess, yeah, it's something that we focus on a regular basis. So it's, you know, good that it's more important in the playoffs. Especially for Romanov, just, he missed a lot of time. So for him to come back and be one of the hits leaders last night, I mean, what you say about him that even after missing time, it was not exactly tentative about throwing the body? Yeah, uh, I mean, the, <laughs> that's that's just who he is, I think. Um, so like I said, it was great to have him back. He played a great game. And, uh, yeah, it was nice to have him, uh, see him out there hitting guys. There's been so much focus on special teams, but five on five, I think you guys are outproducing them pretty well. Do you feel like you've done pretty well? You've done play the way you want to play five on five when the times that it has been? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's definitely been a lot of uh, penalties both uh, both sides. So I think five on five, I think it's been pretty even. Um, you know, they're they're a team that uh, four checks extremely hard. They play quick. They can get on you, and uh, you know sometimes um, they can outmatch teams that way. But I think five on five, it's been it's been super close. It's been extremely close. Hey, I know at the Collie, you know, 
when you sat in that dressing room, you could physically hear the crowd, right? It, it was, you knew what you were coming out to. Newer building, you know, can, does that seep into the room or is it just when you walk down the tunnel? Um, yeah, I think walking down the tunnel, especially leading, leading up to that game, uh, you know, you could hear the crowd, you get those, you know, jitters and in, in a good way, uh, you know, excited to play in front of this, in front of this uh, crowd. So it was an awesome building to play in and we all, we're all looking forward to it tomorrow. Can you talk about how important patience is, Pelle? I mean, that's still a 1-1 game with four minutes to go and yet you guys didn't change anything. Yeah, um, I think, uh, you know, it's it's very important to when you in the biggest moments to play the way that you know you always play the, the things that you do well so um, especially you know with uh, playoff hockey tie game late in the game overtime whatever it may be I think you need to stick to what makes you successful and I think we did a good job of that last night